What's up, gamer? <laughs> Welcome back to a modded Genshin tutorial. Ooh. We're going to go down to here to download the 3D Megato. We're playing mods. Make sure you're downloading this mod specifically and not this one. This one is for mod development. View the raw. This will load up the file for you to download. All right, so once the file loads up, you want to put it on a drive that has a lot of space available because some of these mods can rack up to gigabytes big. All right, now I want to extract the file. Just extract it, Just extract all of it. Now we have the mods, we have the shader cache, we have the shader fixes, we have the 3D Megoto loader. You'll want to um, pin this to start and it'll pop up on the, the start menu. And then we're going to scroll down to the search bar specifically, not the one up here on top. We're going to search mods. And the first thing that pops up is the mod that we need. The 5.8 fix all character mods. Make sure you scroll down and like the post. And then we're going to download this mod right here. The 57 release version 5.7. I forgot to mention though, you need an, a separate mods folder for the mods that you're installing right here. These are your backup mods. So let's say an old mod like this mod doesn't exist in the game banana anymore. It doesn't exist anymore. So I always have a backup of this mod. You know, it's always good to back up your mods. Back up your mods. As you can see, you can see the folder. Um, I'm going to this and then I'm going to extract all into into my mods folder for 3D Megato. So we go to 3D Megato, mods, and then select the folder and extract it into there. And then we have uh, this thing. Oh, if this pops up for you, just click on more info, run it anyway and it'll pop up this command prompt and then after it's done scanning all the mods and it says done just click enter and it goes away all right this next mod i actually forgot to showcase it in the last one it's, yeah the first thing that pops up so just another skin manager it is thorough you need this mod okay first we're gonna do is we're gonna download this and then um, I'm going to put it in my Genshin mods folder, you know, for like a, as a backup. And then I'm going to open it up and extract it. And then we're going to scroll down to Jasm right here. V2222. We're going to right click, extract all. We're going to browse and put it right in here. I'm not going to put it in my mods folder. I'm just going to put it in the 3D Migoto um, I'm gonna put it right here. I want to put it in here, man. Let me extract it. Yes, extraction complete. We got the mods folder. We got the 3D Migoto loader. You should already have pinned that to your start. We got the mods folder. We got the the 57 release version. You want to also pin this to your start as well. So we want to pin this to start as well. And now let's open it up. Run it anyway. What the hell is this? All right, after you install the Jasm skin manager, so first you need to set the 3D Migoto folder directly here. If we look here, it's right here. You need to set this. Put it as this. Do not put it as this file because it won't work. So you have to select this folder. And then for the mods folder, You'll want to go into the 3D Magoto and then click on this mods folder and then select that for the folder. Basically, when you insert mods into Jasm, it'll put the mods directly in the mods folder. Now then, let's start with the first mod of the day that we want to try out. And I picked most liked because I'm going to be picking the region-based ether outfits. Depending on what region you are on the map, your modded skin will change to that specific region so it's like really good it's really immersive really nice and then we're gonna install the mod the the latest one is right here five months ago we're gonna download this ether region mod first i already have this installed we're gonna we're gonna open up jasm 
we're going to drag and drop this file directly into Jasm. And then this little window will pop up. I'm going to go to the website, region-based ether outfits. I'm going to copy the link and I'm going to put paste it right here. I'm going to click on mod custom name. Just click on it and it will automatically fill out everything. It'll automatically fill it all out. All right, so now we go back into the 3D Mogoto file. We open up the mods menu and run the the mod fixer. This will scan all the mods in the game or in your folder currently. And then you just press enter. The mods have been all been fixed. So we now run the 3D Migoto loader. Now we have this command prompt. It's saying that 3D Migoto is ready. So now it's time to run the game. So we just start the game. And as you can see, the command prompt is running. It's running the game. We need to go into the settings, go into graphic settings and then scroll all the way down and turn off dynamic character resolution. Thank you for watching the video. I appreciate you. Please like, subscribe, and wire off. Oh yeah.